Victor is like any normal college student. While not in class, he enjoys reading the works of Tolkien, playing field hockey, or listening to gangster rap with all of his friends. But life for Victor is not as simple as it first seems. I remember the first time I was made aware of my situation. It was in the third grade. We thought it'd be funny to make some animal noises. We covered the baby sick pretty quickly. Cows, pigs, cockatoos, platypus. But it just wasn't enough for him. He pressured me to make horse noises. I can't. I moved. Every year in the United States, there are over 100 horses. Victor is aware of zero. Yeah, growing up with Victor was awesome. He's a great big brother. I love the guy. But when like we were horsing around with friends and stuff, and like if anything about horses came up, we had to really rein that in, bridle that conversation, because he he just doesn't understand that stuff. It, it was it was hard. I had to learn about horses from somebody else. Of course, Victor was a great kid. He was a great player. We did have to cancel our contract with Ralph Lauren. Our uniforms just wouldn't have worked out. Didn't want to confuse the kid. I mean, his high school was just hard enough. Yeah, we did have to reschedule a lot of matches. It was just crazy. I mean, anything remotely equestrian could trigger an episode. Today, Victor is being brought to face a real life mule without his knowledge. He believes he's being taken to the local dairy queen. What was that, Victor? He missed the Dairy Queen. Victor, I'm afraid we're not going to Dairy Queen. What? See, Victor, there comes a time in a young man's life when he should face something that's been such an integral part of growing up. Victor, we're taking you to a ranch. Why? You're gonna meet a mule, Victor. Do you know what a mule is? A donkey? Victor, it's the offspring of a donkey and a horse. Have you heard that word before, Victor? Horse? A horse. You know what that is, Victor? I can't say that I do. Well, very soon you will find out firsthand. Kind of. Are you not a man, Victor? Yes, I'm a man. Say you're a man. I'm a man. Say it louder. I'm a man. A man who? Is going to touch a mule's face. You're gonna touch a mule's face, Victor. What are you thinking right now? I'm thinking. I've never seen such a thing before. Victor, hold out your hand. We're going to feed them. This. This is like Chex Mix for mules. Alright, now that they're chewing, Victor, touch it in its face. It's real. Being shown the ropes, Victor became more stable and was able to take the reins of his disbelief and tame the naysayers' bridled expectations. Go ahead, you put this fool. A new day dawns like the beat of hooves on an open prairie. While science will never be able to tell us everything we want to know about the eternal mystery that is horses, at least the community of people who know about the existence of horses can take solace in the fact that one man is taking his first uncertain steps towards joining their ranks.